What's going on, everyone? Chris from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Minnesota Twins versus Colorado Rockies Major League Baseball matchup going down Monday, June 10th, 2024. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, the games that I love, including my daily $19 best bet, make sure that you head on over to PickDogs.com and click the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page. Also, make sure you check out my 2024 Major League Baseball Grand Slam Season Pass. This is for the betters that are betting $1,000 or more per game on Major League Baseball this season. But what it's going to get you access to is the weighting and rating of my plays for the first time. You're going to know where my biggest bets on the board are. It's also going to get you access to my nerfies and yerfies and my first five plays, as well as plays I make throughout the day based on things like line moves, money moves, pitching changes, and lineup changes. So if that sounds like something you're interested in and that's the kind of bankroll that you're working with, call 775-636-7674. We'll get you some more information. But let's get to this one between the Minnesota Twins, and the Colorado Rockies, the Minnesota Twins, sending out Chris Paddock for the start in this one, while the Rockies will send out Dakota Hudson. And Hudson, you know, coming off of a rough start at Great American, gave up four runs on five hits, had four walks, a pair of home runs allowed, and just four and a third innings of work, uh, and uh, took the no decision in that one. It was a bit of a, an, uh, an offensive clinic, but unfortunately, the, uh, the Rockies fell short in that one as they got swept in Cincinnati over the course of that series. But, you know, still... Hudson struggled in that start at home, uh, but now goes back out on the road where he actually has been, you know, fairly solid this season. I mean, you know, last time we saw Hudson on the road, it went seven innings of one run ball against the Los Angeles Dodgers of all teams. You know, he still gave up two earned runs in San Francisco, two earned runs against Miami, three earned runs in five and two thirds against the Padres. So Hudson's got solid stuff. When you compare the home and road splits, Hudson fits the bill of a lot of Colorado Rockies starting pitchers where, you know, you pitch your better baseball on the road when you're not in the hitter-friendly confines of Coors. You know, at home this season, Hudson has a 321 opponent's batting average, a 7.57 ERA, an 0-3 record across six starts. But on the road, 2-4 in six starts, but a 3.41 ERA, a 200 opponent's batting average. And now you take on a Minnesota Twins team that is known for the majority of this season having a fairly high strikeout rate against right-handed pitching. Now, in the last two weeks, the Rockies have one of the highest strikeout rates in baseball against right-handed pitching at 26.4%. But they're also their numbers are right on par with, with Minnesota for the most part from a from a, uh, a team OPS perspective. The isolated power numbers a little bit favor the other uh, Minnesota Twins, but the Rockies are having a lot more success in terms of batting average against righties. And I just don't, I just don't trust Chris Paddock at this price. I know he's been a lot better at home compared to his starts on the road this season. Last time out, you know, Paddock gave up seven runs on six hits in New York when he was taking on the Yankees. And granted, that was the Yankees. And last time he was at home, he faced the, the uh, Kansas City Royals, a Royals team that's mashed right-handed pitching for the better part of the season. But again, Chris Paddock, to me, just not a minus 210, 215 pitcher. He's got a 5.26 ERA on the year. And although, it, like I said, his home ERA is still solid at 3.26, you know, it's it, at one point I think it was around one, and he's still got a 272 opponent's batting average at home. So I'm going to take a shot on the Rockies here. I maybe take him first five, maybe take the plus one and a half. I can take the plus one and a half. I'm going to take him on the money line at plus 180. That's going to be my free pick. But just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. Why your Pick Dogs? Check out our betting tools. They're 100% free, the best betting tools in the business, and tools that you want to make sure that you have in your back pocket when you're making your best bets for the day's action. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.